The fire yoke's been updated with an extra piece of webbing along with two additional slip locks to add for concrete attachment of saw pads on the right shoulder and a talk box on the left shoulder. Out of, out of the box, this is the way your fire pack is gonna arrive with the extra piece of webbing woven through this top slip lock and this bottom slip lock or middle slip lock depending on the yoke you receive. In order to attach these products, you're going to have to feed this webbing back through the yoke and you're left with this in independent piece of webbing. For saw attachment, you're gonna first feed the nylon through the top end of the very top slip lock. Take your saw pad, weave it through the connection point, and then feed this webbing through the bottom end of this slip lock. From there, you wanna pull it tight to make sure you have a good connection. And then you're gonna repeat that process with the middle slip lock. Feed it through the top, go through the saw pad connection point. Once through, feed it through the bottom portion of the slip lock. Once you have it through the bottom, make sure it's tight. And now you have a connection point and the saw pad securely attached, mitigating the need for zip ties, P cord, or any other way that you formerly used to put a saw pad onto one of our fire packs. The remaining piece of webbing can be fed back through this slip lock or simply tucked up and underneath your saw pad to make sure it's out of the way. The same process is used to attach a talk box short or talk box tall to the left side of your shoulder pad. Key difference is instead of using the top and middle slip locks, you're using this middle slip lock and the bottom slip lock to ensure that the talk box is in a usable location to provide access to your radio. This yoke is going to be found on any of our fire packs except for the Big Ernie.